Hey everybody, I'm going to do a frugal living video today and today I'm going to talk about my vehicle, my car. My car is one of my prized possessions. She's 19 years old. She'll be, she's an 04, so in 2024 she'll be 20 years old. I drive a Pontiac Vibe. It's an 04 and it is the best car I ever had. And my attitude about my car is... If it's not broke, don't fix it. N not, you know, don't fix your car if it's broken. Figurative, figuratively speaking, I have no reason to get rid of this car. All right. So again, it's a 2004. I bought it brand new. I maintain it. I do my oil changes every 3,000 to 5,000 miles. I drive it in a way where I'm not beating on it. If something comes up, I fix it right away. Maybe I've just been so lucky or this is such a good car that it handles itself well. It's got a strong engine. The Toyo um, Pontiac Vibe is the sister car of the Toyota Matrix. If you pop my hood, it says genuine Toyota parts. Now, Toyotas are great cars, so maybe that's why it's so good. But getting kind of off track here. As far as a vehicle, my attitude is I don't want to buy another car. My car has been paid off for about 10 years, maybe more. It still gets me to where I need to go. I maintain it properly. I do all the, the routine maintenance. Why would I want to take on a car payment and a higher insurance bill when what I have is perfectly fine? It looks good. It runs fantastic. In fact, it was in um, the garage for an oil change today. And when I brought it in, I told them, I said, you know, could you check the spark, spark plugs? It has 225,000 miles on it now. A little over, actually. I think 2,025 806. I had the first tune up at 100,000 miles, had the sparks, plugs changed, that sort of thing. So today I had the usual oil change and I have my, my bill here. They did the oil change. Um, they changed the air filter. They changed the cabin air filter, which was um, the air filter and the cabin air filter. That's not part of um, your uh, regular oil change. They um, changed the spark plugs, and then they did a fuel injector cleaner, and that was $301.05. That's not bad. That's not bad at all for all that work. Um, I have a really good mechanic. The mechanic I go to is the only person that works on this car. Whenever I have an oil change, I say, can you do a quick, you know, check a once over, check the brakes and everything. And every time I go in, they say, everything's fine. And I say, you sure? It's got original belts and everything. Can you check my brakes? Why? What's wrong with your brakes? Oh, I don't know. I, this one, maybe it's not stopping as good as it should. They check the brakes. They're like, there's nothing wrong with your brakes. Another way of keeping your car in good working shape is find a good mechanic. Find a good mechanic that's not going to see you come in as a woman, and some will, and say, oh, oh, your brakes are making a little noise. Oh, we'll check it out. Oh, yeah, you need a whole new you know, brake job. No, my mechanic doesn't do that. They tell me what's wrong. I fix it, and it's never anything huge because I maintain my car. So I asked them today, what about the transmission? I haven't had a transmission flush since long ago. And they told me, you know what, sometimes if you stop playing with stuff like that, it will create a problem. So get yourself an honest mechanic. And as far as your car, to get back to the frugal living part of my car, you don't need a car that has all the bells and whistles. You don't need a new car every four years or every five or six, however your, your car loan is. You don't need, if you're leasing a car, and I, I've never leased a car, but I know that there's terms that you have to, um, you know, go by. There's mileage. And every four years or two years, you have to give the car back. 
I like having something to show for every car payment I made on the car that I have. What else can I say about my car and frugal living? Yeah, I, I maintain it. I drive frugally. I, uh, you know, I combine errands and trips. I, if I'm out on one day, I'll conquer everything that I need to. And I'll only fill up my gas tank like twice a month. I don't drive far. I live a mile or two from my employer, but that's how I keep my gas mileage low. What else can I say? Again, when little things come up, I just fix it. Bottom line, what I'm saying is, if it gets you to where you're going, you don't need a new car all the time. You don't need, I don't have like Bluetooth accessibility in my car because it's an 04 and I don't need that. I don't need to connect my phone to my radio and talk on the phone with people like that. Maybe I'm just so old fashioned and frugal that I'll wait till I get home to call somebody. I don't know. I don't need all that. I don't need satellite radio in my car. You know, the regular radio is just fine with me. It's just fine with me. Maybe that's just me. I don't know, but that's how I save my money. I haven't had a car payment in over 10 years. I haven't. And a lot of the money that I would have, um, you know, have to spend on a car payment, that goes in the bank. You can build yourself a sizable bank account by living frugally, by not having a car payment. So I'm gonna stop talking and I'm going to put this on pause, flip the camera around, and I'm going to show you my car that's almost 20 years old. So this is my car. It's my 2004 Pontiac Vibe. I don't want to show you too much of it. I don't want to show you my license plate, but there she is. There she is. She is my prized possession. Sorry, the sun was in my eyes. I don't know if I was the camera was up too high or what, but that is my car. And I, I will admit, it does not look like it's almost 20 years old because I take care of it. I take care of it. It has roof racks. It has a moon roof. I'll show you the inside too. This is the inside, the interior. I take care of it. The only thing that is really wrong with the radio, besides the buttons being a little worn from pressing them all the time, is um, right here, the um, plate cover. There, where it has the display as to um, what time it is and um, you know what radio station look looking at it's just all scratched up I don't know how it got like that I certainly didn't just drive along and scratch it up or anything but yeah it's it's such a good car and I'll show you back here I got a lot of stuff in the back but yeah and there's my Dollar Tree rake I um, got that rake at the Dollar Tree and I use it when I go um, see Max at his um, little place where he's buried and you know when I decorate but that's my car that is my car that's almost 20 years old so again my point of this video more frugal living tips was addressing my vehicle and how I make not having a car payment work for me get yourself a car if you do have a car payment pay off your car and keep your car keep your car this car like i said has over 225,000 miles on it i was on facebook marketplace about a month ago just playing around i think i was bored and i typed in pontiac vibe um on facebook marketplace and there were so many of them and one of them had this is no word of a lie, 360,000 miles on it. I think it was like a 0201 or 02 uh, Pontiac vibe, but 360,000 miles. That's another person that found a good car and kept it and lived frugally and just kept driving it. And the description was that it drives fantastic. And when I tell you that this car drives fantastic, it does. It drives as and runs as good as the day that I bought it. And I'm not lying just to sell you frugal living tips and how to keep your car. This car 
is the best car I've ever had. And I'm going to drive it until it doesn't drive anymore. And if someone else can get 360,000 miles out of their Pontiac vibe, I bet you I can too. So anyways, another frugal living tip from me. I hope you all are well. I hope you have a good day. Pay off that car and keep it running. Find yourself a good mechanic. Have a good day. Bye-bye.